Does a word come from your heart? Ah, it's not with us. Maybe today he's not with us physically. We cannot touch him. But I'm hundred percent sure his pure soul is with us. He's sitting nearby us. If we see in the mountains of Baluchistan or in the mountains of Sin, the people talking about Baluchistan, the struggle of Baluchistan, you will feel so over there. Poets sitting in Baluchistan, doing poetry regarding resistance, regarding love of the country, love of the nation, so you will find it so over there. If Poets, writers, anywhere, a person sitting and talking about resistance, humanity, love, care, motherland. So I'm 100% sure it's London, it's Quetta, Nushi, Chabahar, Zedan, anywhere in the world. So his pure soul will be there. He's saying those views of the people. The most difficult part of a person's life is when you leave your country. Go in exile. So I believe for his mother nation, for his mother country, he has so much why he gave most of his life, spent most of his life in a difficult situation, living in exile, living very far from his country, from his motherland, whom he loved from his core of heart. So which was one of the most difficult things we are sitting here, all of us. If we are living in exile, so we understand the pain, how painful it is to live in exile, far from your country, far from your people, missing the smell of the soil when it rains. A smell comes, so you miss even that one. You miss when the uh, trees, that uh, the autumn comes, so the leaves fell down, you miss that thing. So you miss every single movement of your beloved country, and he did this everything. He sacrificed those all happinesses, all the beautiful times, just for the Baloch national cause. He was person of his words. He never surrendered. He could go back and he could get benefits. He could do, could do much more. But the love of country, his words, his commitment, kept him here. And he gave his complete life for the Baloch National struggle. Really, and it's feeling very difficult to say words for him. His family is here. Um, so they know him much better. When I was reading about him, so what I found the most interesting, he didn't wait for a Messiah. He used to say, it is uh, one of his interviews, he said, don't wait for a Messiah. So what does it mean if we see it on a broader level? But you have to take this step. You have to come forward. So it was a message for a nation that, uh, has been uh, invaded above 70 years, that everyone is a leader, everyone is a messiah. You have to come forward and you have to do this service. And uh, I was just reading about him. So one of the first 
newspapers is started, that was the Paki. Means unity. So he talked about the unity of Baluch nation. So I would believe today we are sitting from different political parties, from different ethical groups, all are we together just for one cause that is independence. That is sovereignty. It is sovereignty of sin. It is sovereignty of Balochistan. But we talk about other sovereign nations for the independence we talk about. Just, I'll conclude here uh, with my last uh, few words that uh, the path he showed us uh, for not waiting for a Masera. So here sitting, everyone hopefully will take his words with himself, not for, wait for someone else to lead us. So we have to be leaders. We have to work together as a one nation. Rather, we are below city or any other oppressed nations. We have to work together for the independence of our country. Uh, for those people, they are oppressed. They are feeling it, feeling the atrocities of the countries. So we have to be together, and we have to follow the word that he said, the party, the newspaper. So we have to be together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I was told that uh, uh, we have uh, one man who has joined us today and has uh, written a poem uh, about uh, what Agra Parks is. Uh, I will request him, uh, this young man, Balaj Abiri, to please come on the stage and uh, share the poem with us, please. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Jump off everybody as well today. Um, I'd just like to start off by extending my gratitude to the Baloch Sindhi Forum for putting together such a memorable and significant event in our history as a people. You know, I, I don't think that people should just forget about today. I think it should live within us as a people, as a community, because this great man was the epitome of greatness. You know, he was a true pillar of our people, our community, and without him, I am nothing. So, also I would like to show my love and appreciation and respects to the entire Barclay family as well. We share a connection, anti-empire, anti-apartheid. Preserving our identity was his main fight. His thoughts epitomized when he said, you can't kill the daylight. A 15-year-old me in awe of this elder unpacking the truth, a huge moment in my journey to becoming unapologetic. Baluch. I walked on the soft grass, the pretty flowers in a London park. They were sharp thorns, hot coals burning me. I'd much rather be walking on the molten lava of Tokdan. Oh, my motherland, I'm forever yearning thee. We share a connection. I love how you spoke your beloved tongue when they told you not to. I love how the chains and cells didn't stop you. I love how you were close to Kamash, my granddad. I love how you spoke symphonies, a truly grand man. 
a point of call for the realest perspective you could ever get. Wrote beautiful words dedicated to my uncle Gunny, whom I never met. In this age, it wasn't enough to say RIP and just send a text. I would have held real regret had I came today and not given my poetic best. We share a connection. Call it passion, obsession, a commitment to liberty. I am a reincarnation of such thoughts and literacy. A cultural continuum through Western metaphors and similes. I speak for so many when I say, Naku John, much love for what you have given me. I hope to contribute in your image for our future history. So when we meet again, the Almighty can say, I love the symmetry. The aim and desire to influence unity, a collective synergy, that true connection will forever live in me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, I would request uh, uh, to share the meeting. Please come on this stage and say a few words.
یادات مسک محبران کنان یادات یادات مسک محبران کنان لندن شهرا مکران کنان یادتی مسک محبران کنام لندن شهرا و قرآن کنام باکچه این یه دیار بازارا دشت و لاشار و زامران کنام یادتی دل ملک شهمو کنام سیخ شبا زنده ماهگان کنان یک روچی صحبه گوارش دا تحبه کاران یک روچی صحبه گوارش دا تحبه کاران سنجت جیگه مکمان کنان پور استاران کاران مستاگی کلکشان دی کشان کنان بام دلت روشن بحاری هر جاگا و نترم با ودی کشان کنان من هما درات کا نمیر زوراک من هما درات کا نمیر زوراک هر چی گرده پدا رودان کنان تا منا کش بلی مگو در جم کابرا هم بیغا مندی و جان کنان تا منا تحترین قلب کن تا منا تحترین قلب کن منا پدا من پدا چیز دبان روان کنان اشک دریای شرطگان کهرین ما وقتی جندا امتحان کنان و وقتی هون و استاران گل زمین من آسمان کنان ویداز باور استاران کاران از من ام استیل لکن فور دی بلوچستان تو بی ویکتوری اون ایت و همه پیپل گیت از فریدوم and be released from the Iranian and Pakistan dictator. There is another son, Oksir, Oksir Akbar Gotaran, the Buddhian Dilan Bhutkaran, Durro Goharu Shahwaran, Kaadani Gwaran, Kaadani Gwaresh Singaran, Gurnan Nazgulian Kaushara, Mesko Mehlebo Ataran, Waro Bazdagan Tahinan, خاکان کتبو I thank the Sindhi Public Forum for organizing this event to pay tribute to our great leader, Jafar uh, Baruch, and also for, uh, to all of you coming here and joining us, uh, sharing this occasion. Waja Akbar, for me, before he was a poet, he was a political leader for his people. And he fought for Baluchistan, for Azad Baluchistan, for an independent Baluchistan. <laughs> when he was in Middle East, Afghanistan, or even when he came to here in the United Kingdom, London, he never stopped. He started publishing Azad Baluchistan. And even his children, when they were very young, and he asked them to post all these Azad Baluchistan to every Baluch activist that he knew. And he continued 
He worked with Atala Wingan to form Kunun, and he asked every Baluch in uh, County Hall to join that movement just to advance the issue of Azad Baluchistan. He has spared no time to work in that direction. And when the situation of politics becomes a bit uh, uh, unclear uh, among the Baloch uh, leaders, then he went to poetry, writing about Baluchistan and books, and he did a great service to Baloch culture poetry, and politics. When we had meetings in London, when we had demonstrations, he was present and vocal. And he never stopped talking about the issues that Baloch people face. Whether it came from Pakistani generals or Iranian dictators. When I think it was uh, late uh, 80s, uh, in Germany, people rose against their shortcomings especially I think it was about the water and the Pakistani army crashed people. So he asked us to go and protest in front of the Pakistani embassy and he was there as well. He never lost his love for freedom of Balochistan or independence of Balochistan. That's how that's how I can remember him. And I salute him. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh Abdullah. Uh, I now uh, request uh, uh, Mr. Mohsen Chastoni. Uh, if he's in the room to please uh, come on the stage. Thank you very much. And uh, so I think we don't have So I'm not very much used to be public speaking, uh, but I thought maybe a couple of minutes contribute to not or Akbarasi. Of course, he belongs to all Baloch and Baloch nation. Uh, but also I kind of give some outline or about uh, the working. Sorry. Yeah. Um, something that, that although um, I met uh, now for the first time in London, I knew him from childhood because of family connection and uh, uh, relations. Um, first time I remember when I was very young, even before going to school, went to Karachi from Shastun, uh, Sarawan, Baluchistan. Uh, we went uh, to Nakunur uh, Muhammad was Akbar's uh, late uh, father and Nakuli uh, Muhammad. And then we heard about this. Uh, Muhammad Akbar, Muhammad Akbar. We had some cues in our in our uh, head, but we never so we had a lot of stories, and it was like kind of everybody was talking about him, but we never met until we, I, until I came here in like around 1987 in London first time, and then it was though that knew him from 
like very charming to the sense. So that's uh, and also it was very uh, very good in making the connection and uh, talking about you know family talking about and he never been also to uh, for example Shastun the the hometown of uh, his father and grandfathers and also to Pahra to Sarwas to other places because he was born in uh, Chicago or in Send. Another thing I want to share with you that. Uh, when uh, after, I think it was before independence of Pakistan, somehow that uh, Waja Akbar's uh, father and also uh, his uh, uncle, his great uncle, uh, they were uh, coming there and there's a place called La Paz, close to uh, Quetta, between Quetta and Kalat, that part. And a couple of my uncles, they were very, they were very young. They were looking like a blonde, kind of like white British as such. And then they stopped them and said, oh, these are English. They are not Baloot. So they wanted to get them away from the rest of the family as such. And they said, oh, they are, he's my nephew. He is my kind of like a brother's uh, kind of like son, et cetera. So and always I heard these stories until I met uh, here. Um. <laughs> Let's see, I also have uh, something, um, I've got it in my thing because I was not there, but I want to uh, read one of uh, Nago Akbar's uh, points as well. So I need my glasses, the glasses if you don't mind. Okay. Right. Okay. Um. I just do something uh, in uh, Baluchi as well. Um. Because Nawab Akbar was very optimistic in future, regardless of all the setbacks. He was saying, "Kay to zamzile kudai marchian baada nabi. Kay to zamzile kudai marchian." Father Nabi Zor Mozoro Narawai Marchiant, Father Nabi Zaro Sore Badishahi Marchiant, Father Nabi E Polo Lotto Tabahi Marchiant, Father Nabi. Basically, it's all we have got now, all the problems that we have to bear, but eventually, tomorrow is Christ. I mean, just in short. And also, uh, Nago Akbar has some uh, words, some poetry in Persian. Not many people heard about it. Yeah, and uh, one of his uh, words in Persian is, yeah, yeah, Nago means uncle, yeah. I mean, somehow because uh, he was kind of like much older, and otherwise I could say my brother because I mean, <laughs> as I could say, and uh, his father, in fact, is my like, second uncle in that way. Good may a sham kolbei kuya, that's in Persian. Good, and that's why not what I say. Good may a sham kolbei kuya, mehretaban, a sabanamka. Gongo be not to be zaban gudam, este as nam, dor fishanamka. He never went to Iran, but in the Persian, he was master of Persian as well. Yeah. Needs to be normal of being the Shan to them. So what they do is the Stanam cat. We are just in Obaharan, not to be Sahelash, Javanam cat. That's in Persian. And as far as I'm concerned, I think I could summarize Narko Akbar's. In his own words, Rocha K. Pushkakan, Rojna K. Darsakan, who is going to kill the sun? Nobody can. And no can uh, prevent the light of the sun, the wisdom, the knowledge away from people. Thank you very much. Thank you.
very much for the question. Uh, I will request uh, Dr. Azim Shirani uh, to come on stage and share uh, his experience for many years of the case. Hope you are very it's coming to you, everybody. Thank you so much for inviting me to take part in this uh, really sad okay. We lost one of the stars of our nation, especially Baruch. Uh, our sister brother stops many of his uh, work in poetry. In politics. I said just about the, uh, this character as being as a human being, how I found him and how he was. My dear friends, I came uh, in 1987, yeah, around the new year. There were a gathering of the Baluchis in one place as which uh, brothers stand. Uh, there were many leaders, uh, as they named the late. At all, I mean, other people, a lot of other brothers and sisters who present here, they were. Uh, but when uh, they introduced him to me, when he talked with me first time, and my family was with me, small child, when he saw them, he became like a child, talked with him to find out, to explain them about the life and nature around them. This is the main thing. Uh, to understand about uh, honesty and as a human being who try to be positive in this society and environment uh, which is relating to. So uh, when I saw this talk and after 1999, uh, uh, when I came again here and 2002, and especially when I located in the Oxford, he has close relatives. Every time he came to Oxford to visit them, uh, we have gathering to my place, to their place, and we talk a lot about what happened in his life, and how they've been in Iran, why they went to the uh, other side of the Baluchistan, and then they went to the sand and Karachi, and how he became again. Uh, forced to leave his motherland, come to again to uh, Western Baluchistan to them get to the Arabian uh, countries, and then uh, what happened here? He came to England. So everything he talked uh, about his personal life with me. But the main thing, my dear friends, is we lost a storm. Now everywhere in our. Uh, Location which Baluchis live, really they know who is Waja Akbar, uh, Barak Zaid Baluch. Uh, why? Because the things was was told. I don't want to repeat and to do parallel phrases which to waste your time. Just it means that his an existence which done the best what he could do for, as a human being. I again thanks and I hope and I hope what he wrote, what he uh, gave to other brother and sister, like a memory to establish them, to publish them and record them, and again and again sent to Baluchistan to find out why they are in that diaspora like this. Thank you so much. I don't want to waste your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I request Dr. Majid Thank you. 
I think I better speak in English. Whichever you feel probably don't understand. Yeah. Uh, Right. I would, uh, 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 I met uh, Waja Akbar 62 years back, first time, at a place called Las Bela House in Karachi, which was the residence of Jam of Las Bela. My brother Baki Baloch used to stay there and Barak Zahi, uh, Baloch Sahib, used to visit him and so did Jumahat. And there was somebody else uh, from the uh, privileged Baloch family who was there when I met them. He was uh, very quiet person, I noticed at the time, but he was only, I think, about 21 when I met him because I was 19 at the time, and we were in education. I was pursuing my medical education, and he was, I think, uh, very much uh, uh, impressed or uh, uh, a political uh, worker at the time as a student. And he was in the company of the Basinjos, Mendels, Maris, uh, Nath, National Army Party, the Yeah, Lord, that was, I think, uh, National Amount and Guptis. Uh, and uh, some comrades. And among the comrades, I think uh, I remember uh, Marum Nizamani Sahab, their grandfather. And this, uh, they used to get out in the evening and go around for a walk, and I, I would be following them and listening. So did Akbar as well. And then I pursued my medical education. He was uh, busy with his politics and all that, and we lost touch. A few years later, I found out that uh, he, along with Jumma Khan, and some other Baloch leaders, were forced to flee to Afghanistan and then ended up in Baghdad. They stayed there and then later on I came to know that he has shifted to London. I didn't have close contact with him then, but when I came back to England in 2001, and I was working in Hastings. He used to be visiting Dr. Malik, uh, Habib Malik, and Habibullah Malik. And we used to have long sessions because I was living in the same building where Habibullah Malik was living. And uh, uh, for 10 years, we had good chit chats and a uh, lot of. Uh, interaction with each other. What I would like to say really that Waja Akbar Sahib was a true Baloch 
maximalist leader. He grew to be a true Baloch nationalist leader. Whereas the others, the Bengal, Mani, the Bhukti, the uh, all of them, they were sold. He never sold himself. He always said, he never accepted any money. I'm sure he must have been offered as the Pakistan establishment does by our, most of the people who are who matter to them. And they have bought the Marines, the Bengals, the Bhuktis, I dare say, but they could never buy Akbar Barakzai Baloch. So he was a true nationalist. I would uh, I would uh, quote here my brother Bhakti Baloch, who became the member of uh, Provincial Assembly of West Pakistan Provincial Assembly. He said it in the Provincial Assembly that uh, it's in Urdu. Kuch Sardar Dum Hilake Khate hai, or Kuch Sardar Gurrake Khate hai. That means some Sardars, they wag their tails and eat, or get concessions from the government. And some other sardars, they roar and bark and get their share and concessions. But Akbar Barakzai never did that. I salute him. I salute him. I salute his courage. He always stood what he believed. Last word. As a person, I began to know him when we were having chit chats in uh, Hastings. And he had refused to accept a literary award, and I asked him why. He told me the reasons, but I can't divulge here. I will, in the end, say that as the mystic poet Shah Abdul Latif Bittai had said, Paki sabu sona, paki sabu nahanja, par kehte hai manwa manja, ache bui baharaji. Translation would be that all birds are beautiful, all birds are beautiful, but all birds are not swans. Some persons among them, among the people, have fragrance of the spring. And I miss that fragrance of the spring. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Majid. And uh, I'll request uh, Rahim Bandui to please uh, come on this page. Thank you, Vice President. First of all, I think I found 
policy to the Sindhi community. Yeah. The reason is because for the first time when I received the message from Samad Bhai, and I said, why you didn't get a start by the Kaluja Star Human Rights Council, as he was one of the founders of that. And Savajan corrected me, saying, don't forget that he, he has been one of the founders of the Baruch Sindhi Forum as well. So, of course, they have the priority compared to uh, the Lusani Human Rights Council. And that, was, that was my ignorance, and I do apologize for that. And I do salute to Waja Akbar Barak, this great soul. There's no need for me to speak about his how great he has been in the politics and how he builds literature. Because both of them are, at the moment, everybody is trying to talk about it. I think both in Germany was talking, maybe to make another point as well. Go to you, Lauren and Hani John, most of them is from your father's uh, father side, both relative and there are others. And I am actually one of close one from your grandmothers. But they're not grandmothers, of course. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, uh, father said that he's been in the, uh, like Rajan had to run him other relatives who they didn't manage. I don't think that, yeah, but of course, no, he works anymore. One of them are the ones, but he was quite many others, very close ones. And whenever we are meeting in, since 1987, when I came here, whenever we have been waiting, he has been asking me about getting uh, to our house, so she he's, has known my uh, family. Every time I was asking about very Ashkan and Sabah, and I was asking about Tarzan at the time, and there was So the last time that I met him, it was the time when it was in Peruch and Sindhi Forum's place for Remembrance Day or remembering uh, which, uh, uh, that was our sign which I really feel so happy that I managed to see him at that time and we talked about at the last visit was when he came there and see his face with us. For the first time, when I knew him, so probably I have to say to Dr. Lasha Isai when he was uh, explaining about that Barak Isai was known to each corner of Belugis. And you named four corners of the Eastern Balochistan. But he is well known, especially after the uh, 1980s anyway, because of the communication systems get better. He is well known in all corners of all Balochistan, whether it's Western one, whether it's Northern one, or whether it is uh, the uh, Eastern one, of course. For the first time, I knew him. Not physically, never on him. It was in 1972, I can't remember exactly when I was in the university in Ahwaz, which was very next to Baghdad al Basra. And there was a radio, Baluchi radio, and Waj Akbar was talking to that radio, and I heard it. And when I, somehow, when I get back to Balochistan, which is from uh, uh, southeast corner and then to the uh, uh, west. Corner of the US corner, I think, yeah, that was next to uh, Basra, next to each other. When I went back then, that I spoke about it, and then everybody was told me that well, he's very close relative of us. I think they explained. So they explained that during the time when Qajars occupied Balochistan, there has been a lot of changes, and plus, uh, Britain was in that part of uh, that sand and that area. So a lot of people, because of uh, many other situations, especially politically and economically, both of many people moved that side. And that's the reason I think went from the Western Balochistan moved there. Uh, and uh, eventually, as Baloch uh, and Sen always have been next to each other, became closer and closer. I think I should finish it here, really, because I don't think it should take time on this, but our condolences to you, all of you, and uh, we salute to his great soul. Thank you.
Dr. Gendry. Now, uh, I request uh, Dr. Dr. Gisuti uh, to have a complete uh, presentation. We have to deliver a presentation from me and then uh, Oh, no. Right. It's the, the second part. I've got the uh, voice the sound. The first part is my little, my, my little speech, maybe. Uh, and then one sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that, that or, or do you want to do the video? Or do you want to do the video? Or do you want to do the video? No, I think I'm Okay. First of all, uh, again, again. <laughs> نظر قدیمه تحبار هم من گشته یه چوکیت که تو پتر هر وقت هر وقت گربر کنه من از آن پسی کردم. من آن آواز نیست. بورساری. ما 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 in Baluchi, I repeat again my condolences once again. I met uh, Akbar 39 years ago here in London uh, when we started, you had already started the uh, uh, World Baluch yeah, organization. But I'll, I'll, I'll try to be very brief. Uh, Akbar was a very compassionate human being I have met. And he was also passionate about Baluchistan. And I thought the best tribute to Akbar would be to talk about Baluchistan because that was his passion. He wanted the freedom of Baluchistan. And that is why uh, this morning when I woke up, I asked myself, what am I doing here in England? Because the problem I think with the Baluchistan really, if not it started, but uh, it was partly because of the, this country, the colonial power, Britain which made Baluchistan into three parts, and that's why we ended up either being oppressed at home or being depressed in exile. So uh, if Baluchistan, that Akbar always wanted to become a country, was going to be a country, what, would, what type of country Baluchistan would have been? And that is my tribute with a few slides. Next one. Next slide. So I'm going to talk about Baluchistan, as you know, it's divided between the three countries, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Iran. Next, please. Uh, so this is my tribute to Akbar, and I have to keep saying next uh, with the next uh, slide. Yeah. Okay. Now, in terms of, uh, if you look at Baluchistan, and I have put here uh, Baluchistan uh, in Pakistan, Iran, and I said uh, Iran others because Iranian Baluchistan has been divided again in four parts, uh, which is Sistan of Baluchistan, part in Hormuzgan, part in Sherman, part in Khorasan. If you add them all, it is actually 640,000 square kilometer. It is just like, it's very similar size to Ukraine, which is being invaded by the Russia currently, and South Sudan, which is now a free country. Next, please. In terms of population, now some of the Baluch people might disagree with me here, or they might say, no, we are 25 million, irrespective of that. Let's start with the minus of minimum 12 million and up to 20 million. 
population wise, Baluchistan ranks 70 to 77 in the world. Next, please. And in terms of language, it rank, it depends. If you want to add all the pe Baluchi speaking people around the world, it will rank even higher. But it will rank at least 80 in the world among the countries. Next, please. In terms of mineral and natural resources, Baluchistan actually is among the top 40 countries in the world. If it was a country, it would, it would not have been a deprived country. Next, please. Coastal area with 1,350 kilometers of coast, of beautiful coast. It ranks number 74 in the world among the countries. Next, please. Yeah, go to the next. And in terms of documented, uh, documented history and culture, so uh, all of you know, for example, about uh, Meher Garaj, which is more than 9,000 uh, years old. And also, there are places in North Baluchistan, in, in Sistan, Shahr Sukhde, or the Bern city. And also, there are places. In the east of Baluchistan, where they are called Sotkagin, uh, Doria Sotkagin, there uh, means burnt cities, which uh, you can see here in the ancient and medieval uh, modern history. And also, I had a look at the Shahnameh, which is Shahnameh is basically the identity card of the Iranians. And it was written about a thousand years ago by Ferdinand. In Shahnameh, the Baluch. And the king of Shah Maturan, king of Maturan, has uh, fought against the king of Iran. And I have written an article today, this morning, and I sent to some of the Persian sites, and fortunately they, they printed it out. So if you look in the history wise, Baluchistan has got at least, at least 2,000 year history. And it, with the Khanate of Kalat, that was, I think, uh, if, it depends how you look at it. It's either started from 1512 or from 16th uh, century. And on, in that respect, if you look at the ancient countries in the world, Baluchistan talks between 30 to 40 countries. Next, please. And now, we could be ready, we, we should have been, Baluchistan should have been either part of a country called, say, countries like Switzerland, or uh, an independent country, and should have been a member of the United Nations. But we are not in the United Nations. Where are we now? And that is the saddest point I was asking myself this morning. If we put, draw the curtains apart by, by pressing the next button, please, you see where we ended up with most of the people. This is it. We ended up what I would call a evil triangle of death and misery by either Iranian Ayatollahs, by the Taliban, or by the uh, duo of <coughs> military and religious leader in Pakistan. And this is a very sad state that we are in. And all the struggle that Akbar did during the last, <coughs> at least when he was 10, that means 74 years ago when he was then, was that Baluchistan should not end up at the, uh, at the hands of these people. That, that, that is the story of Waja Akbar, and that is the story of Baluchistan, and I think they are intermingled with each other. Thank you very much. <laughs> What do you think?
Ah, okay, okay, okay. The voice can come in a second. It will come. The 
because we did our best to convince our friends of the God, of the God, and his friends that uh, they had to uh, behave in a manner that is political, not tribal, not traditionalist, but to be fair. And that is why we had to, uh, to split because after working with them for so many hours, for more than a year or two, uh, it was evident that uh, they didn't believe in organization, they didn't believe in uh, joint decision making. They, uh, they believed that they were, uh, they were among any organization and they had quite right to decide whatever they liked. So that is why we went over and we, we never believed in grandeur. We call ourselves Balochistan, Balochistan Democratic Party. Just a moment. Uh, so, uh, yes, the name of the newspaper was the Party Ra. The Party Ra. Ra had it the whole. And it was, uh, it was published in Party Party of Unity. It was uh, it was published in five languages. We decided to come to it. Uh, uh, yes, yes, first of all, a uh, senior uh, friend of mine, Kamil Bhakti came there, and uh, uh, he started bringing out what we had already decided. He started bringing out uh, a newspaper again. By the name of People's uh, Front. They won't do as well as in English. After a year later, after a year, I joined in. That I'll uh, I'll show it to you. Yeah, I will give you. Yeah. No, not not this one. I'll I'll give you the USB. We are gathered today to pay our tribute and respect to one of our great leader, Waja Akbar Baramsi, who is our Waja and Vadedi, who 
well respected and well known throughout Rotination in Baluchistan. I would like to speak in Baluchi to be closer to Wajah's soul. I'm honored and privileged to know Wajah and Mitchell. Vajay's in the game. Pamba Dosan Dema, Yakpachi Kitabi. Ahi Sara Chaparuka Pijanit Ahi Zende E. Sapare, Mara complete Kutnakari. Rosia Siva the Vituya and the Vajay of Pre, Yak Motram for Dostrati Nami. Vajay Tehogi Zin, Yak Pachin Kitabi, Vajha Pachizinde, Stegaru, Wafari, Bankarika Vasta, Shairi is a woman, Parimatu. Shairi Yakachi is a woman, Yaya, so extraordinary way of telling your story. Shairi, Achi Takatwari Lehwaji, Kya Yi Kushika Ram, Ayi Gujdaru, Ayi Wando, Amar Shere, Amar Mesmerai Zbhi, Tu Ayi Kushika, Zed Zed Toka, but ever, here, but Misha was here. E, Shairi, Ye, Tarze Bayon, Yak Baluchia Maushi, Kudai Dadi. This is a gift. Lucky, Madam, Madam Azara Nitaha, Kaza Yakia, in the Siva Vit, a Ashai is Bana, but he got my income. It's a chant of Zanitaha, and Sane Washi, Gum, Shari. Arabia is a Purmana in town, Pran and Nam, Shari. Is a chant Labzan in Taj or Gay, kind of a to Porisrari, Porisrari, Razan Isra, Yakruchin, Andazi Gapjanagi Namin, Yamaru, Gujaruke, Yellow Magazita, Nakshti. Machan Kapani Ta Hachi Takatwari, Pegami, Yodegi Namin. के पैगाम या हजार था किताब था जागा नकाब अच्छा लग जाए वैसा मलूचिया मार्गशी लाल हाकू तो वो बड़ी कीमत ही है कमाएंगे पैमा वही लग जाए शायद ये कम वजह पर वजह पर वाजक बड़े में शायरी जुबान पति पैगाम प्यादयान पुतगम पति ख्याल दर्शन करा पुतगम वाजा वाजा पति शायरी ये जरिया हर बड़े पैगाम ये ये जान पुतगम सियासी कामी अदबी आसमानी और जमीनी पुर पुरे सारे मार्गश्ते जाहिर पुतगम हमें सब बात के वाजे शायरी या सिंसर नेस Shairi, Baz Bardukan, Belilatye, Wakti, Tori Shairi Bun, or Yak Alati Mutaka Shairi Bun. Waje Shairi is limitless. There's no limits. From the sky to not the sky. Paducha Parusana began to Arsha Asmana, Mahabistana, Waja Pusi. Adabidun Yataha. Bazi Shai or Bazi and Son, Bhoti Shai, Bhoti Tikri, Wabat Pikya, Mahara Dastagar Kalam. I Shai to die bit or Shaksia to die bit. Pare Waja Akbare Besadin Kya Yishai, 
اور یہ زبان اور یہ پرسنلٹی ہمیشہ ادبی دنیا تہا وہاں جو وشد احسان کی ہے وہ شائستگی ہے یا بلاہی مثال ہے وہاں جو وہ شہران تہا احسان بازی کہتی تھی سرا شہر خوشی وہاں جو چند شہران سرا چار کا پچھلا شہری خوشی ہم بلا بیائے بلا لوشی کے تنگا کرے پہچان کرے کرے ہمدلی ہم سفر شک سیاسی <laughs> put each other down and say that we are superior and you are lower that that kind of this kind of this mentality will not help us to get to our you know our destiny waja akbar hoti shehri tha baazi hayali irkan waja zameen aur aasman aur aasman aur zameen ka چوتھی ملک کا 
the kids he was in exile. But I hear what he called me, so much, for me, I am what he umbrella would tell. I share a shiny one in a point of our community day to go to share a little son, I hear a man who is a brooch. Chaparuch, a brooch, Tony, Umbra, and the Hankadamu. Maria Pseri, Maria Dalayat, Kibushani, Awaji, here, Bush, for a year of each Nakana, a Tandare Shahara Makuran Kana, Mashera, and the Beat Nakana, the name Mami Bushan, Ewaja, Tim Tandare Makurani. Makurane Makurane Shir Vito Vietke. Three Makurane Nandani Makurane Shad Vito Vietke. Ale Tam Baluch Manit Tona Mirade. Tona Mirade. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shumbar. Thank you, City Baruch Forum. We have gathered here today to pay tribute to Khan Akbar Bharat. To pay tribute to him. It is necessary to understand what the person he was, what was his thoughts, what was his philosophy, what was his motivation, what he really worked for, and most importantly, what is his legacy. I would like to read, I tell you one thing, Sai Akbar was a one of the, I mean, his uh, presentation of poetry is one of the modern forms of poetry of Baluchistan. And I would just read a couple of his uh, uh, poems to understand what the person he was. Now, it is in English, of course, therefore there won't be that rhythm that, that is in the original poetry. And the title of that song is, uh, the poet poem is, Versus, Unfinished Song. Mankind is a beautiful song, a song unfinished as of yet. Heart and soul of the sacred earth, to conscience it gives voice. To conscience it gives voice. Important to understand. It is each word and each rhyme, like flowers, soft and sublime, a heavenly wine, in nature's cup, like morning breeze, it does chime. Someday, twill touch its finest note, twill survive the tide of time, bestowed by the mother nature, a blossom that lost forever. He was a universalist. He was a humanist. He believed, who believed that the destiny of entire humankind is together. It is another thing that the parts of that world, the part of that nature, the heavens that nature has given us, they have been made hail for us. And one of these hail that has been made from heaven to hell is Balochistan. And therefore, he said, there will be, the, it is, it is, it is, the world is heaven. It is flowers. It is songs. It is fragrances. And it's, he, he, he dreamed for these things. The second poem is, that is his determination, not forever. The rule of chains and fetters will last only for today and not forever. The age of tyranny and the operation will last only for today, not forever. All these wealth and riches will, will liquidate soon this loot, plague, and plunder will last only for today, not forever. 
is a dark night of slavery, of suffering, of killing, of barbarism, of displacement, of destruction. But this is, you should have a belief. He had a belief. It will not last forever. And therefore, because he believed in it with in his entire heart and soul that it will not last forever, he continued to finish that tyranny, that dark nights, whose whole life is restricted. His, his end of poem is beautiful, it's called Motherland. Even if like a wasteland, it is all burnt and braced. Even if like wasteland, it is all burnt and blazed, motherland is but motherland. Motherland is but motherland. I crave not for the land of the sun, and it is flowering rivers of light. Even it is a dark like a dungeon, motherland is but motherland. My mother, in the world, you get two things only once, and that's your mother and motherland. He said, whatever is my motherland, that is my so you got to get his motherland back to get the tragedy over. And what he did, I mean, in his 20s, he started his journey to walk on a path and to his last break. But he's not dead. I can walk. He continued on that path. And when we say legacy, what is legacy? In this world, people will come. We all die, we will die one day. It is the impact that people will have during their lives and after they are gone. Sai Akbar Barak Zain, I mean, when he came to London, even before that, why he wasn't, what, what you think, why he was in Baghdad? Why was he in Afghanistan? Was he vacationing there? No. He was working for his motherland. And then when he comes to London, the first thing that he starts, organizations and uh, uh, making the world aware. Say, for example, World Baloch Organization, and then then BHRC. That is today he is the founding executive president of BHRC. So, as long as BHRC, when they go and shout in Geneva, "We want freedom," it is signed accord by. They who's who's sounding there? Who's there? Although he's gone, his work is legacy. He inspired the nation. His work, he's not dead. Who says? Because there is still a uh, law of physics, which is called law of conservation of mass, and that what it says: mass can never be created nor be destroyed. It can only change its form. So his thoughts. His work has laid, has produced, has created organizations that even tomorrow they will be gone, for example. But this organization, this work will continue. His impact and his, his work for the dream to bring his mother there, to make his motherland free, and to, so that his people can live with dignity and peace and freedom will continue and until even tomorrow. And this is his belief that this is only today. The tyranny will go. The slavery will go. Tomorrow, when even Balochistan will become independent, it's still a dream will continue to make it a land worth to live. To live, to make it a land of peace and dignity and flowers and fragrances and opportunities. So he will continue. I'll tell you one, one more thing. His love for Sindh was as deep as for Balochistan because he was born in Chicago, one of the finest cities of Sindh. I met with him 30 years ago, and his important was that we had to work for Balochistan and Sindh. We have to bring these together. And uh, today, when we are sitting here together at Sindhi Baloch Forum, this was one of the thoughts from him as well. So he is not dead. He is still as a uh, Adar Shabat says, he continues to work, he continues to work, he continues to live, he continues to work, 
and continue the work to the day when Balochistan become independent, when Sindh becomes independent. Long live Balochistan, long live Sindh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very grateful to you all. Uh, we are here today, as you all have paid your respective tributes to our gentleman, Marek Seif. You have said enough. There is nothing left for me, but I have to thank you. And to Edith Waja, who was a great human being. Waja, Akbar Barak Zaheb, we mention, mention him, like his name, Akbar, great, like his stature, physical uh, stature, that he was tall and great. He was a great personality. He was a great human being. He was for humanity, for humankind. Akbar Waja, loved humanity and human beings and also he loved his Baluch people. Uh, there's a saying in Baluchi, Akbar was Akbar Kestin, Baluch Ali Akbar. Akbar was not only, Akbar loved his family, obviously. He loved his family, everybody loves his family, but Akbar was unique. He loved human beings and humankind. At the same time, he was for all Baluch. Akbar, Baluch Ali Akbar Atwaja Sangata. If you study, read his uh, poetry, those who have been close to him, he was a, a perfect gentleman. He would have harmed no one. Uh, in his poetry, he has shown his respect and love for humankind and universe, but he had loved his motherland as well. He was a Baloch, uh, and therefore we all together we are remembering him. And the well, first time I knew him, I met him in 1981 in London. Uh, I was privileged. And he was the mother in Pari Ego, but the only one of Mark Hilda, those say Sarah, and she looks at the same time. Eighty one, World Baluch Organization, and the Jude Bugaha, Victoria, Baluch 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 this was his uh, idea, along with the Nizamani Sahib, Sardar Ataullah Khan Mengel, Nawab Khair Bakshmari, and those are all. Uh, but it was the first ever Baloch gathering in 1981, where it was held under his supervision, I believe. He was the uh, brain master of all that. Because he, since he has been in uh, Baghdad, Syria, and all over. When he came in London, uh, he was an intellectual, he was a linguist, uh, he, had, uh, he had loved all the languages, by the way. He was master in Persian language, Arabic, English, Baluchi was his, his own language. So, Waja had worked. For humanity, but especially he wanted this was like Ali says on the cemetery the other day, he had two words in his mind liberty, 
three term Baluchistan and Baluchi, obviously. So we have uh, today, all of you are here, we all know, we are here because of is this link. And the other thing was, I want to share with you, uh, he has considered me always, me being his younger brother. Marawati, even if it's a it's a honor for me. He had always told me, Sanajan, Tomai Matastari Brahmi. Oh, he's given me that status. I'm proud of it. And he, he had two main uh, ambitions. I don't know whether he shared with you or not in life. One, he wanted to uh, to have uh, create a magazine here, but uh, Aluchi and English magazine and academic uh, magazine. He named it Gulzamin. Gulzamin means motherland, uh, the beautiful land of Baluchistan. He worked for it, and uh, I was uh, with him. We tried, we did a few works. In those days, there was no uh, internet or other things, and printing facilities. You have to do everything in handwriting. We did, we sent it to Baluchistan. That did not happen. That's an animal story. The other ambition he was having that to have an epidemic institute in Madhuchita. This was a dream. Two dreams that he shared with me. Maybe he had other dreams, but uh, he wanted to have an academic institute, either in Harvard. Uh, he wanted always to be in an interior Madhuchita. I was a three five shooter, Kimana Sali Vedare, educational Edare Vivi, a up Paduchistan Vivi. It's not a simple one, uh, just uh, people will make in school or something. Something uh, international standard. He was a Mazani ambition. He wanted to get either in how, Ozdar, Wada, or Turba. This is the location of the Baluchi. If you have a throughout the Baluchi, you can see the Baluchi. If you have a Baluchi, you that did not happen. That's a different, but this was, these were two main uh, ambitions that he had always talked to me and I supported him. That did not happen. That's a different matter. But Waja was great. And um, uh, as I told you, uh, Waja, uh, you have all said a uh, lot of uh, uh, bad your scripts. I don't have much to say. But there's one thing that Waja was always hopeful for a free uh, Baluchistan. Uh, Waja was all, always uh, is, uh, respected all human beings. He had loved for all languages, Urdu, uh, Farsi, Arabic, English. But Waja has loved, uh, has loved with his own Baluchi language. Waja, I guess they had shared it in he was not uh, hopeless. Waja was always uh, hopeful because uh, he was a he, he would not hurt no one, uh, and he would not wanted to uh, no one to be hurt. But Waja is the mother of Shere Jamakan. Waja can help, but when I say to those two, my daughter Kushma, he was a big share of the chief. He would always uh, give hope to his people. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's in Baruji, um, sorry, Hani and uh, Dalin, and uh, sign for this. But Vaja used to say, Ham Dele, Ham Safa, E Gum Sarabit. Gam Makan, Gam Makan. Baam hai, 
मानव सदा शोक सिंगार वीत गम मकन गम मकन तलमलित तार गया जो कि बानो ने इस्तार और पूरा मुदा आहे मिसले दिलदारे गीवार बीत गम मकन गम मकन इस वो बिग हो वजह है कि कंपेयरिंग इट टू द बीच मेहरबान माही दिलदार Why do you give hopes? And I'm grateful uh, uh, to you all. And Nani and Nani, we are grateful. We have friends here from the United Kingdom, all over. They have from from long places. We have also friends from United States. We have also friends from Germany. Abhijit Jain is here. There are all many other part of uh, they have all come here. Uh, finally, I would like to uh, say. I am grateful to you all that you have come. Waja Akbar Namiranit. Waja Akbar Namiranit. He lives in our heart and souls. He lives forever, till the last breath of Baloch person in the universe. He has done his bit. This is our duty to continue his struggle for his people, uh, for his nation. And I hope, since he is gone, we will go as well. I leave it to the young generation uh, for the future to continue uh, his task to free his nation and free his people. Thank you very much. I'm glad. <laughs> बलोच and with that he was all but for the unity of the baloch and sindhi people and he was always against their division uh he uh, as many of you know and aware and has been got to learn from different people today <coughs> excuse me that uh, waja barangsi uh, was a colleague and companion and comrade of uh, the towering figures of the baloch national struggle uh sardar taula mangal uh rao khair bakshmari and uh, sardar khan gupti and uh, his love and respect for his companions in kuli was uh, really great i'm a witness of that as we remember at the barangsi today uh i was uh, moderating uh, one such similar event that we had the sindhi baloch forum held last year to pay tribute to Uh, one of Akbar Barakzi's colleagues uh, and his comrade Sardar Atawla Khan Mengi. That event was held in the Sindhi Center in Kanto, London, and many of uh, you were uh, really very close to Akbar Akbar Barakzi. That despite suffering from really very serious health conditions, he made it to that event, and he did pay his respect and love to his comrade. We really learned a lot from that. just uh, uh, of say a uh, grand gesture of waja uh, parvati and certainly as long as we live as long as we do not lose our conscious uh, we will continue to cherish and we will continue to celebrate his legacy his work uh, may sindhi baloch sanlong thank you very much thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.